They say the bigger they are, the harder they fall. But this dude is no pushover. Come on, man, look at him. Big old ass coming out the front of his shirt. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of the Blob. If you want his help, don't mention his weight. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1964's X-Men number 3, which was expanded upon in 1996's X-Force number 52. Let's dance! Hey! Get up, buddy! The massive mutant known as the Blob is one of the X-Men's oldest adversaries. Like many other super beings, the Blob has incredible strength and endurance. In addition, his sheer mass makes him very difficult to injure, and even more difficult to move against his will. You pathetic lazy claws have destroyed my house! Yeah, uh, well, we've been kind of thinking about cleaning up. The Blob, whose real name is Frank Dukes, debuted in 1964, very early in the X-Men's run. The issue opened with a familiar sight, the X-Men undergoing training exercises under the direction of Professor X. However, the Professor interrupted the proceedings because he received a mental signal that a new mutant was nearby. Changing into street clothes, the X-Men went in search of this new mutant. As they didn't know what he looked like or what his powers were, they made a few mistakes along the way. Eventually, however, Cyclops located their target at a carnival. Oh, boy, Called the Blob, he turned out to be one of the attractions at the carnival. His immense size, combined with a mutant ability to anchor his gravitational force to the ground, made him nearly impossible to move. In addition, bullets and other weapons tended to merely sink into his putty-like flesh without doing any damage. Uh, what's your hurry, four eyes? <laughs> The X-Men took the Blob back to their headquarters. In spite of his arrogant personality, he was asked to join the team. Much to their surprise, however, he turned them down. Afraid that he would reveal their secret identities, they tried to stop him from leaving, but they failed. Hurts the, blob. the discovery that he was a mutant made the Blob even more arrogant. He took over the leadership of the carnival and convinced his co-workers that attacking the X-Men would make them famous. However, Professor X had seen such an eventuality. He had prepared a device that could be used to wipe all knowledge of the X-Men from the carnival workers' minds. He hoped that the X-Men could subdue the carnival workers, and then he would erase their memories and send them away with no harm done. Unfortunately, the X-Men were still a bit inexperienced. They were unable to stop the Blob and his team, who captured them and then advanced on Professor X. Fortunately, Marvel Girl used her powers to escape her ropes and then freed her colleagues. With the element of surprise on their side, they defeated their attackers and the Professor successfully swept away all knowledge of the X-Men and their headquarters. The Blob returned to his life as an attraction at the Carnival Sideshow, unaware of how close he came to defeating the X-Men. But he would be back to fight the mutant heroes many more times throughout the years. The Blob's powers were enhanced over time. At one point, he learned how to shift his mass, enabling him to enlarge specific parts of his body as needed. In 2005, he was one of the mutants whose powers were eliminated by the Scarlet Witch, leaving him as a normal-sized man with enormous excess folds of skin. In recent years, he regained his powers, thanks to special injections of a serum taken from the body of the mutant known as Dazzler. The Blob has given a lot of Marvel's strongest superheroes a run for their money. He's appeared in media beyond the comics, where his immovability makes him a worthy enemy and gives his foes the opportunity to demonstrate just how strong and smart they are. Are you a fan of the immovable blob? <laughs> Is that supposed to hurt? For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Did you just call me... Blob? Oh, but... <laughs>